going to continue exploring sound, sound energy, and the way sound travels through the air in waves which we cannot see but we can hear. More specifically, we'll be talking about absorption and reflection. Certain objects absorb the wave sounds and don't let us hear much, but other objects reflect the sounds, which means it kind of magnifies it. It projects it, which we can hear sometimes, even we can hear an echo, because these are the waves of our sound traveling, bouncing back into our ear, okay? So we're going to start with different objects. I'm going to start also have my, my tuning fork, so I have to strike my tuning fork, touch it to this object, in this case a metal pan, and we will see whether the metal of this pan is reflecting the sound, amplifying it so that we could hear it, or maybe it, it'll absorb it. You might want to take a prediction right now to see what's going to happen. Not really, right? Oh, just a little bit. There we go. Did you hear that? So when I strike the tuning fork, it makes it vibrate. That's what's creating the sound. When I place it right next to the metal, it amplified just a little bit, very lightly. But metal really absorbs those wave sounds. Next object I have is a plastic cup, one of these solar cups. We're going to do the same. We're going to see if this plastic cup reflects or absorbs. Make a prediction. Did you hear that? It's amplifying it and holding it. Even louder, right? So this plastic material reflects the sound created by the vibrations from the tuning fork. Next material will be this piece of wood. It's just a solid piece of wood. Wood is interesting. Many of our instruments, our musical instruments, including my harp, is made out of wood, right? So let's see what happens to a solid chunk of wood. Did you hear that? Interesting. My prediction for this one was that it would absorb the sound even though it's wood, it's not hollow like the body of a harp. I'm going to show you a little secret with my harp. The harp, as you know, has the strings here. The strings connect to the soundboard. And if you come around to the soundboard, you will see that it's hollow. That's what's creating the vibrations to magnify. In fact, I just noticed something that's very interesting too. If I speak closely here into the soundboard, you can actually hear the echo because wood is a reflecting material when it's hollow and it reflects a little bit even when it's solid, right? Let's try something different now, glass. So let's see how reflective or absorbing this material is. A little bit there, right? Now let's try something that's very different. I have a towel right here. A prediction will this towel reflect or absorb those vibrations absorbing right you don't hear anything let's go back to wood I have my ukulele here now my ukulele is also made out of wood and it's hollow it has a hole right there right so what do you think absorbing or reflecting You guessed right, it's reflecting, right? That's why when I pluck or strum the, the strings, they vibrate, the sound goes into the sound box, and it gets reflected. And that's why you can hear the sound of a ukulele. Get ready for this wall of sound I am sending your ways right into your eardrums. Ready? Mm -hmm. 